Well, let's just wait for everybody to connect to the class. Let's check it out. Perfect and perfect. Okay, okay, okay. Let's wait for everybody to connect. Send them a little message. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, mister. How are you, Walter? Uh, I am relaxed. Relaxed? Cool. That's nice. How was your day, mister? A good day? Uh, it's... Um, day good. Day good. Uh, uh, Christmas party. Oh, yeah, you told me you held um, a Christmas lunch. lunch. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yes, that's cool. So uh, my company. Cool. Uh, yes. My yes, my company. Merry Christmas. Okay, and tell me, what did you have for lunch? What did they prepare? Chicken, a roast, a barbecue. Um, a roast, a uh, chicken. Okay. And perfect. soda. Okay, that's nice. So you were relaxed. So yes, yes. That's uh, cool. Yes. That's uh, actually cool. Uh, waiting, uh, waiting for my vacation. Oh, really? When do you start vacation? Yeah. Um, they start on 18 December. December 18th. Cool. So you're December, going to... Uh, okay, December 18th. That's nice. So that means that you are going to uh, go... Yeah. When do you go back to work? In January? Um, uh, yes, um, January 4th. Oh my gosh, that's nice. So that means that you're going to have almost three weeks of vacation. Yes. Perfect, excellent. That's just great, mister. <laughs> So you're going to be relaxed, completely relaxed. Yeah, relaxed. That's nice, that's nice. Yes, yes. Well, thank you, uh, Walter. Um, yes, me, tell, uh, me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Well, you, 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 uh, preparar, como se dice, teacher? Prepare. Uh, prepare uh, my house, uh, Christmas party. Oh, you're going to have enough time to prepare that party. Yes. Um, uh 20 24 um my family um este um prepare um, chicken panes con pollo <laughs> okay bread stuff with chicken oh uh, bread stuff with chicken that's nice that's nice so okay. you're going so you're going to have Vacation from December 18th to January the 4th. Yeah. Pa Christmas yes, party with yes. your family. So everything's cool for you, December. That's nice. Great. Congratulations, uh, much, Walter. Much, much money. Uh, yeah, that's something. <laughs> we spend Thank a you, lot. teacher. We spend a lot on vacation. That's right. No, thanks to you. Thank yeah. you, Walter. Let's see, let's see. Okay. Carla Marielos, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hello, lady. Lady in purple. You are wearing purple today. The color of your blouse is purple. Yes. Okay, okay let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's check it out. What about?
about now? Can you hear me better now? No. Less? Okay, hold on. And in this one? Yes. Better, better in this one? Yes. Okay, let's see. If not, give me just a second. We are going to try option number three. Hold on. Give me just a second. I got another microphone. Just give me an instant to plug it in. Let's see, let's see, let's see. If it's recognizable. Okay, the camera has been recognized right now. And what about now? What about this microphone? Is it better or not? Yes. Okay. I yes, think we are having. Back. I think we are having problems also with the sign up because I just have a little uh, bit. No sé si es problema yeah. del. Yeah, I think it is internet connection right now. Problema. De... Yes, that's what it is. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Hold on, okay, because this is a different camera and a different microphone. How was your day, Marielos? I am good, a little busy. A little busy? Finally! I am having dinner. Oh, that's cool. Nice. That's great. Well, enjoy your dinner. Let's see, let's see who else is around. Mr. Carlos Bautista, good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. How are you, Carlos? How was your day? Fine. Very hard, but it's a good day because ending all activities of the day. Okay. And tell me, Carlos, did they find the box? Uh, no, I don't know uh, where is my box. That's no, a problem. No, uh, get the 15 box, but the box missing. Uh, I don't know what we're doing with that. Wow, that's a problem. Well, must be in Central America, perhaps, or... <laughs> In one uh, country, must be in, somewhere. In one occasion, uh, one box uh, was uh, encontrada, teacher. How do you say encontrada? Was found. Was found. Was, was found in Egypt. <laughs> Egypt? Yes. For real? Yes, wow. I don't know why. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. They found the box in Egypt. Yes. It was coming from the United States. Yes, yes, the United States. And, and it is not the only uh, occasion, but in one occasion, we lost one container. How do you uh, lose one container? Uh, Merx lost the, the container and was in in Italy. In Italy? Yes. Ah. The container, the, the route is China to uh, Acajutla. Okay, yeah. But uh, the container was in Italy. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, that's weird, yeah. That's funny, man. Well, it's out yeah. of your hands now. Está fuera de su control. Yes. Uh, we can do nothing. Okay, well, thank you, Carlos. Nice to have you here in class. Okay, thank you. Mariela de Los Angeles, good evening. Hello, miss. Good evening. How are you, Mariela? I am sleepy. Sleepy? Yes. Wow. 
Hi, why are you sleepy? Come on. It's still... I have cold. Uh, I am cold. If you tell me I have... I am cold, yes. If you tell me I have a cold, means a catarro. Okay? <laughs> so you are cold. No, it's not that cold. Yes. Look, in my room where I am right now, I have the door open and all the wind comes in. Delicious. And I stay like this in this room until 2 a.m. In my case, it's just that I love when it's oh. nice. It's nice. I, I love weather. weather. This weather. Oh, this weather. Weather. Weather, weather yes. This weather, but I'm cold. You get cold. Eh, that's normal. Yes. That's normal. Eh, so you enjoy a sweater, a thick blanket, a thick blanket, perhaps thick, grueso. Thick. And when we ah, say yes. blanket, a thick blanket, uh, una sabana gruesa. Okay. Eh, yes. So you get like cover the whole thing. <laughs> that's cool. That's nice. Well, welcome to the class, Mariela. Thank you. Fausto, good Thank evening. You. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. How was your day, mister? Uh, a little tired. Oh, really? Why? Tell me why. What did you do today? Uh, always. Um, yeah. Prepare orders and check. Okay. The same routine. Yeah. Okay, okay. And tell me, Fausto, how are you with the platform? Did you finish the platform already? No. No. Um, aún me falta, como se dice, aún me falta. <laughs> okay. You can say it like this. I haven't yet. I haven't yet. I haven't. Oh, oh let me see. I haven't. Yet. It means aún no lo he hecho. I haven't yet. I haven't yet. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, or you can or you can say or you can say I am still missing. Aún me falta and you I'm still missing some lessons, I'm still missing a part, okay? Uh, I'm missing the final exam. The final exam. Ooh. Exam. That's actually and, nice. And, and two, uh, two class or video conference. Two video conferences. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Well, the good thing is that you're working. That's what's important. Remember, guys. We need to have it finished on Thursday. El jueves. At, uh, when we finish the class, I need to upload all the grades. El jueves cuando terminemos la clase, la clase voy a subir todas las notas. So for that day, you need to have finished the platform. So let me check. Let me check. I am checking. Let's see. Because I'm checking everybody, but we're going to do later on. Well, thank you, Fausto. Let's see, let's yeah, see, let's see, around. Francisco, hello, Francisco, how are you, mister? Morning, morning, uh, sorry, good evening. <laughs> good evening, Francisco, yeah, it's not good morning yet. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man, yes. what's going on? So, what's up, it, tell me, how's your day? That mister? is a nice, cool. <laughs> yeah, how's your day, mister? Um, a regular day. A regular day. Uh, I, I wonder, I wonder, yo me pregunto, because uh, you are telling me good morning. So I don't know yeah. if you are finishing the day or starting the new day. No, no, no. Es, es que estaba leyendo y yo estaba leyendo un texto sobre la mañana. Entonces, yeah, me quedé con ese ahí. I was reading a text about mornings. I was, I, I was reading a text about morning, yeah. Perfect. So That is correct. Cool, that's nice, that's nice. You give a nice point to the class. 
Thank you, Francisco. Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> okay. Eliani, hello. How are you? Hello. Good evening. How are you, Eliani? Very well. How was your day? Mm, my day is relaxed. Oh, cool. Today was a uh, Christmas lunch at my work. Oh, really? My... Christmas lunch yeah. in your company? Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's nice. So that means the Christmas bonus is closed. Quiere decir que ya viene el Christmas bonus. Yeah, everybody's Todavía no. Expecting. Not yet. No. Not yet. yet. Not yet. Soon, soon, soon. Don't worry. Don't worry. It will come. So tell me, how was the lunch? Uh, it was good. Did you enjoy? Um, chicken. Food? Chicken. Chicken, rice, um, vegetables, salad, and soda. Okay. That's um, nice. Normal. Cake. Cake. Normal. Cake. Okay. Cool. You enjoy your lunch. That's nice. Yes. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Welcome to the class, Eliani. Let's see who else okay. is around. Natalie. Hello, Natalie. How are you doing? How are you? Good evening, sir. Good evening. How are you, Natalie? Mm, good. Good. Okay, tell me, are you enjoying the, this weather? Está disfrutando este clima? Oh, um, too, too cold for you. Demasiado frío. Yes. Yeah, but yeah, where you live is hot, so you feel the contrast. Mm hmm. It's good. Exactly. And tell me, you doing better of your throat? Oh. Um, Yes. Okay. Be careful, be careful because the weather is bad for your throat when you've been sick before. Okay, well, yeah. thank you, Natalie. Welcome to the class. Let's see who else is around. Helen, hello, Helen. How are you? How are you, Helen? How was your day? Tell me. Hi, hi. Or very good, uh, but coming right now. I'm sorry, the last part. Um, in my work, very good. Um, coming home right now. Right, right now. Oh, right really? Oh, really. my God. At 7.45. Oh. A lot of traffic. Yeah. Just remember, in this case, what you are telling me is this. I am just arriving home. I am just arriving just home. Arriving home. Okay. It means acabo de llegar. Okay. Really? So it took you, what, three hours to get home? Um, a lot of traffic bugs. Uh, um, un accidente? Plus an accident. Wow. An accident. Yes. Yeah. Must be terrible. So you must be like stressed. Yes. Ah, don't worry. Don't worry. We are going to relax here in class. Thank you, Helen. Okay. Let's see. Yesenia. Hello, Yesenia. Welcome. Hello, teacher. How are you, Yesenia? Tell me. Uh, right. right. Okay, how was your day, Yesenia? Uh, my day is a good day. What did you do today? I, I am working um review review revis review review revisen no sé cómo se dice revisar se me olvidado 
Reviewing. Review. Reviewing. A lot of contracts. Reviewing. A lot of contracts. So you've been busy today. ¿Cómo? What? You've been very busy today. Ah, no sé. Ha estado muy ocupada. Very busy. Muy ocupada. Ah, sí, sí. Busy, ocupada, sí. Es yeah. que yo pensé que era busy de, de visit. Oh, no, that's... Yes, true. yes. That's visit. That's visit. In this case, I told you busy. Okay. okay, okay. Yes, yes. Very busy. Well, the good thing is that you are in the class. Don't worry. You're going to relax here. Thank you, Yesenia. Pedro, good evening. Uh, my, my teacher. Um, yes, Yesenia. Perdón. Eh, ya me puse al día con las tareas. Uh, for real, let me see, let me see. You are Yesenia. I'm just checking. Let me see, let me see. Okay, okay. I am checking right now. Let's see. Yesenia. Oh my gosh, Yesenia. You are just missing the, let's see, the final exam. Wow. Excellent. Solo le falta el examen final. Yes. Great. Wow. Awesome. Congratulations. Okay. Thank you. If Pero you can... una hora de trabajo al banco. Okay. If you can do the final exam before Thursday, even better. Si puede hacer el examen final antes del jueves, mejor aún. Se, se puede hacerlo antes yes, del jueves. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Okay. Okay. In the, Thank platform, you, teacher. in the platform, you can advance faster than in the classes. In the platform, you can advance much more quickly if you want. I okay. mean, there was one of your classmates, uh, somebody from this class, finished in the first week. Hubo alguien de este grupo que terminó en la primera semana. So, you can do it. You can do it, yeah. I know, I know that person is considered there. Se me esconde por ahí, but I am watching that person right now. Let's continue. Okay, let's see who else is here. I'm sorry. Thank you, Yesenia. Pedro, hello, Pedro. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Pedro? Fine, thanks. And you? I am just great, Pedro. Tell me, I was wondering, did they, did they call you for working on the platform? ¿Le llamaron para solucionar el problema? No, teacher. For real? Okay, tomorrow morning I will call early in the morning. Mañana temprano lo reporto nuevo because eh, I, re I talked to the boss, but until today in the afternoon. Yo hablé con la jefa, pero hasta ahora por la tarde. Because I ah, okay. a, a small, a short meeting with her. So I couldn't do it in the morning. But tomorrow morning, I will remind them, okay? So somebody can communicate directly to you. Okay, okay teacher. Thank you, Pedro. Okay, okay, guys. Let's start. Today, we are going to work. We've been working with... Uh, would like. Would like to, right? Hold on, just give me a second. Okay. We've been working with the, with the would like, would like to. I'm sorry that I don't know what they are celebrating here, but they are sending up uh, firecrackers. Well, actually, this is not firecrackers. Um, let me see. In this case, it's, I hate uh, this. Yeah, me too. I don't like them. I don't like them, actually. Just give me a second. No. Never. Okay, just give me a second, guys. And in this case, in this case, well, there are two different ones. There are firecrackers and they are also 
fireworks. <coughs> fireworks. Firecrackers are the ones that uh, that Eliani throws in December that they explode. Those are firecrackers. We call them uh, cohetes. That's firecrackers. Cohetes. And when we say fireworks, we are talking about the ones who go up in the sky and explode. We call them uh, fuegos artificiales. Those are fireworks. Okay. So I don't really like them, but mm, people love them. People like to watch them. And I don't know what's going on here where I live, but they've been like this for a long while. So today we are going to be working with will like and will like to. Okay, guys? And, uh, well, actually, we've been working with that for a long while, but we work the topic uh, the other way around. Because we've been working with it, but we haven't seen the structure. Pero no hemos visto la estructura. Before we get to that, I need to get the attendance. So I'm sorry. Fausto Antonio Landa Verde? Present. Carla Marielos Guevara? Present. Mariela de Los Ángeles Alvarado? Present. Carla Diazet Colocho? Here. Eliane Alejandra Nativi? Present. Eh, Walter Mauricio Morales? Present. Soy la Noemí Córdoba de Valencia. Carlos Alberto Bautista. Present. Yesenia de Lourdes Magaña Sandoval. Present. Jorge Alexander Reyes. Blanca Margarita Chávez. Felicita Cruz de Pereira. En Grecia Yulisa Pereira. Helen Mar Quintanilla. Present. Your Helen. Giovanni Vladimir, not here. Francisco Javier Villatoro. Present. Alonso Antonio Turcios. Here. And Andrea Natalie Espinal. Present. Thank you. Wendy Susana, not here. And Pedro Antonio Hernández. Well, Pedro. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Oh, oh. Miss Colocho. Let's see. Carla Diazel Colocho. Present. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Miss. Let's see. Okay, guys. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm going to give you a small presentation that I've prepared for you guys. And let me do this, okay. Let's see, but it's not, okay. It's right here. Would like, okay guys, let's see, I'm sorry. <coughs> would like, we use would like or the apostrophe, the contraction, like to say politely what we want. Look, this is the keyword, politely, amablemente, okay? What we want, especially when making offers and requests. So we use would like or like to say politely what we want, especially when making offers and requests, okay? Look at the example. Would you like a biscuit with your coffee? And can you order for Ellie? She would like the margarita pizza, please. She would like, in this case, we are saying she would like. Okay, if you cannot see the screen properly, I am sending the image to the, the WhatsApp group, okay? Si no podemos ver, ver bien la imagen, se las mando también al grupo, okay? 
Now, next one. Verbs that follow will like. <laughs> verbs that follow will like are in the to plus infinitive form. Okay? So if we have a verb after this, that verb goes in the infinitive form. Like, would you like to, you see, to listen, to get. Would you like to listen to that again? I like to get a return ticket for tomorrow. If you notice, we are talking, would like, and then we have the expression to. We use, do you like to ask about preferences in general? We don't use, do you like to make offers or requests? This is very, very important. Okay, I'm sorry. This is quite important. We use, do you like to ask about preferences in general. So let me elaborate about this. Let me explain a little bit more. The difference is this, we have, would you like, and we have, do you like? When we use, would you like, we are, very, we are being very polite. Cuando usamos el would you like, estamos siendo muy amables, okay? That's very important. Now, if you remember from the presentation, I say, we use, do you like to ask about preferences in general, okay? Like I ask, uh, hey, Carlos, uh, do you like, uh, do you like uh, Pepsi? Yes, I would like. It's preferences in general. Like, hey, Eliani, do you like watching TV? Yes, I like watch TV. Okay, that's a, and that's a question in general. In this case, remember, we do not use do you like to ask about preferences. When I want to ask about preferences, I use would you like. Like, imagine that I'm making a, when I'm asked, when I'm making an offer, I'm sorry, when I'm making an offer, we use, would you like, like, hey, Francisco, would you like a cup of coffee? Yes, I would like. Oh, perfect. Remember, you can answer that question with, yes, I would, or no, I, or, no thanks because it's an offer okay as it is an offer you can you can accept it saying yes i would like yes i would love to i would love to means me encantaría okay or you can say no thanks because it's an offer como es un ofrecimiento and somebody is telling us very politely no lo están haciendo muy amable we answer very politely. We say, hey, no, thanks. Simple, no? Like imagine I ask, uh, <coughs> imagine that somebody <coughs> comes and asks, uh, Andrea, Andrea, would you like to go to the movies tonight? And Andrea says, please answer in negative, Andrea. No, thanks. Simple, no, thanks. Come on, Andrea. More enthusiasm. It goes like, no, thanks. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I, I would never interview you, Andrea. You are like too strict. You are like, oh. <laughs> thank you, Andrea. Thank you. So if you see, it's very simple. Okay? Like, uh, imagine that uh, somebody comes and asks Mariela, hey, Mariela, would you like going dancing tonight? And Mariela says, mm, I'm sorry, I cannot tonight. You see? For a negative answer, you can give it in different forms. You can say, no thanks, I am sorry, I'm not. I would like to, but I cannot. 
¿ok? Me gustaría, pero no puedo. So, those are different ways to answer that question. If you want to make, if you want to, 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 to deny the offer, ¿ok? Si usted quiere no aceptar la oferta, el ofrecimiento, ¿ok? Now, if they make it into a question, is a request. Si nos lo hacen como pregunta, es una petición. ¿Ok? Like, imagine that Marielos is at a party and somebody comes and asks her, Hey, Marielos, eh, would you like to dance? ¿Le gustaría bailar? You see, in that case, it is a request or an invitation. Right? Would you like to dance? And she says, mm, no, thanks. Or she says, yes, I would. I would like to. Okay, now for that for that type of request, there's one level above of politeness. Hay un pequeño nivel más arriba todavía de ser amable. That is to be extremely polite. It's when you instead of would you use shall. Algunas personas en lugar de would van a usar shall, but shall is It's for all people, okay? Child is for personas mayores, okay? <clears throat> When they make an offer, shall we, uh, an old person will tell Marielos in that situation, shall we dance? That's extremely polite. Eso es extremadamente polite, okay? And it's an invitation also, but yeah. it means the same as would. Yes, Carlos? Uh, sometimes when I write the email for uh, people in Europe, I you know. write, este, I write, uh, could you like? It's the same. Ooh, could you like? So for example, could you like send me uh, information? Or could you like send me uh, invoice or tariff, etc.? Okay, Carlos. Uh, I'm sorry to tell you this, but it's not correct. You just need to say, could you? Could you send me voice? Could you explain? But could you like? Doesn't work. Okay? You just need to say, could you? And then the verb. Okay. Could you send me the invoice? Could you send me the report? Could you send me the information? Okay. No, no, erase the, the like. No, erase the like. From now on, forget about like. Okay. Okay, thank you. Perfect. Like doesn't work with could. Okay. Could is like, a, in this case, what he's doing is a petition. He's asking for something, he's requesting something. Could you send me this information? Also, it's very polite. He's asking. Podría usted? Could you? Like I ask, hey, Francisco, could you open your microphone, please? I am asking you something. Okay? You see? It's very simple. Like, uh, you know what, Eliani? I don't like you. Could you close your camera, please? I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Eliani was like this right now, like, cracking her knuckles. It's, that's the way we use could, okay? But uh, we don't say, could you like? Just could you? Could you send me the report? Could you pass me this? Could I have the information? You see? Oh, interesting. Let's continue with the presentation. Any other question? No questions? Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, let's see, let's see. Okay, I'm sorry, Francisco, your internet connection is not wrong. Perhaps it's faulty, faulty. Uh, I think everybody's, right now, everybody's is, everybody's connection is giving problems. In my case, mine, it, the message, I guess, is that it's, unstable 
the internet connection right now it's unstable perhaps because of the wind quizás por el viento could be okay let's see and let me continue with the explanation we go back to the presentation and i'm going to stop my video let's see perfect okay let's continue look at this box okay have uh, an idea like a general idea of what or how we use them okay <laughs> My gosh, somebody's falling asleep. Let me do something. Here. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys, now look, we have, do you like rice? In this case, what we are doing is we are asking about likes and dislikes in general. But if I ask you, would you like some rice? I am offering right do you like dancing ask about likes and dislikes in general would you like to dance in this case it is an invitation invites you to dance you see do you like rice in the first case is asking about likes and dislikes okay Hold on, just give me a second. Perfect. And when we say, would you like some rice? We are offering the rice. When we say, do you like dancing? We are asking about likes and dislikes in general. And when we say, would you like to dance? We are inviting somebody to dance. Okay. Now, next slide. We have here some examples. What are the examples? Okay, imagine that somebody says, hey, uh, you're in a restaurant and, and the waiter tells you, hey, would you like champagne? And you say, yes, we would like a bottle of your finest champagne. Or imagine that you are the, you are the maitre de, so you are receiving the people at the restaurant. And you say, hey, perhaps you would like a table in the VIP area. Or you are in a meeting. Imagine that you are in a meeting and you are giving a report to your coworkers. And you say, hey, I would like to stress the importance of priority. You see? Yes, we would like a bottle of your finest champagne. Perhaps you would like a table in the VIP area. I would like to stress the importance of priority. Another example. Imagine that I ask, hey, Carlos, let's go play soccer. And Carlos tell me, hey, you know what, Peter? I would like to stay home today. Or perhaps we are talking we are talking about uh, one of the classmates. We are talking about, uh, let's see, about Marielo. And we are say, oh, Marielo is saving a lot of money. Ella está ahorrando mucho dinero. Why? Oh, because she would like to buy a new car. Okay? Or the invitation that I did. I remember to whom I invited. Oh, I invited Natalie. And I asked her, would you like to go to the cinema, to the movies? And she told me, no, that would be another example. Now, look in this case, we have more examples here. In this case, perhaps we are at home and we ask somebody from our house, would you like to eat an apple? Look at the sec, at the second. He wouldn't, wouldn't, negative, will not contracts, wouldn't. He wouldn't like to come with us. Mary wouldn't like to watch that movie. Now, 
something else that we must be careful when speaking is because some people use this contraction, okay? Remember that in English, contractions, oops, contractions are commonly used. So we have, I will like, I like. She will like, she'll like. Or he'll like. They will like, they like. We will like, we'll like. You will like, you'll like. Listen again. I'll like, she'll like, he'll like, they'll like, will like, you'll like. That's the common pronunciation. Okay. Up to here, guys. Any question? Hasta acá, alguna pregunta? Nope. Okay, remember, we use would like to in order to first to be polite. So primero, siendo amable. Okay, that's very important. When you make a request, it's polite. Okay, when you make an invitation, it's very, it's being very, very polite. Okay. So remember, if we are talking about uh, preferences in general, we use do you, okay? Like, uh, do you like ice cream? I'm asking in general. You tell me, yes, I do, or no, I don't. That's simple. It's different if I tell, hey, Grecia, do you like ice cream? Hello, Grecia. Hi, mister. Do you like ice yeah. cream? I will like. Okay, listen. In this case, the first question, do you like ice cream? What am I asking? General preference. Solamente le estoy preguntando si le gusta. Do you like ice cream, Iglesia? Yes. Yes, I do. Or yes, I like ice cream. Perfect. Now, okay. hey, Grecia, would you like an ice cream right now? Yes. Okay, so in this case, I'm making an offer. Thank you very much, Grecia. Appreciate it. Thank in this you. case, I am making an offer. Okay. She says, yes, I will. But what about, let's see, who was called? ¿Quién me dijo que tenía frío? Mariela. Hello, Mariela. Hello, teacher. Mariela, tell me, would you like an ice cream right now? No. No, I wouldn't. No, I would. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. wouldn't. I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Oh, perfect, Mariela. Yeah, because she told me that she's cold. So an ice cream for her right now is not acceptable. Okay? I would like um, um, a wine. A cup of wine. That's yes. nice. Yeah. To warm yourself, it's cool. Un poquito de calor. Yeah, that's nice. It's acceptable. Very acceptable. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Mariela. Okay. You're welcome. Any question? Preguntas? No questions? Okay. Cool. Perfect. Let's see. Let's go again because we have a small exercise to perform. Let's practice. We are going to the less practice section. Okay. What are you going to do? Okay. You're going to create a short conversation using would like to, where you make an offer to your classmates or a request. You're going to be working in groups of three members. You are going to have five minutes of preparation in the breakout room because then you are going to come back here. Oops, Roman, I'm sorry. It was a typo. Perdón por el error acá. Rooms. You are going to come here and we are going to share, represent, or role play the conversation. So, is the activity clear to you guys? 
¿Se entiende la actividad lo que vamos a hacer? Yes. Ok, let me see. You are going to be working divided in five groups. Let's see. Three, 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 three. There's just going to be. Yes, yeah, just going to be one, one pair. Okay. Solo era una pareja. The rest of you are going to be working in groups of three. Okay, guys, let's jump in. We have a lot to do today. Hurry up. Solo nosotros vamos a hacer. Yes, just the three of us. Solo nosotros tres. Ok. <laughs> Qué frío. Okay. Hi, Mariela. Good. Hi, hey. Would you like to have a coffee with me? A coffee. I yes. would like. Yes, okay. I would like. Okay, perfect. Just the question, you, Helen. No. Would you like to have a cup of coffee? A cup of coffee. Would you like to have a coffee? A cup of coffee. A cup of coffee with me. Yes, cup. A cup of coffee with me. Okay, let's see, let's see. Okay. Uh, and she okay. said, uh, no, I wouldn't. Or Oh, no, she said, yes, I would. And then, oh, and course. then Helen, you ask her, eh, would you like some sugar or milk? Luego le hace la pregunta, ¿le gustaría azúcar o leche? You see? Okay. I'll be back. Thanks. Yes, I will. Right. Yeah. Okay. Felicita, right. coma. Yeah. Felicita, coma, would you like, would you? Would. Would you like? It's, it's a question. ¿Le están preguntando? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Si es una pregunta, would you like to go to the cinema right now? Okay. Right now? And question mark. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes, mister. Um, el apertura y el cierre de question, the sign of the question is, is necessary or solo el de cierre? In English, the, the opening doesn't exist. In English, no exist okay. la apertura. Okay. The question starts, in this case, the question starts right after the coma. La pregunta comienza donde comenzó la oración. Exactamente, de aquí. En este caso, la oración comenzó después de la coma. Okay. Would you like to go to the cinema right now? Yes. Okay. This is a, uh, an exercise, no? The exercise. Yeah, you have to make a small conversation. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I I I am not uh, Mario. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, what do you like? Um. TV. Watch TV? Watch, watch TV. Watch TV. Uh, watch TV movies? Okay, let's see. This case is very simple, guys. You are three guys. Ustedes son tres hombres. Let's make yes, it, uh, let's make it Pedro. Let's make it simple. What about Ooh. if you, Fausto, you invite Walter and Pedro to, to a soccer game? Yes. Yes. You uh -huh, can make it. Yeah. You can make it like this. Hey, Walter and Pedro, would you like to go with me to play soccer? And Walter can tell you, yes, I would. And Pedro can tell you, I'm sorry, I cannot. You see, make it simple. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, teacher. You're welcome. We'll drink. Would you like? I have a question. Mm -hmm. Sería, sí, es como le dije. Mm -hmm. 
How did you tell her? ¿Cómo Sería, good, would you like a drink? ¿Te gustaría algo de beber? Yes, I, I would like a chocolate cup while well, the weather is cool. Okay, a hot chocolate. Huh? A hot chocolate. Ah, uh, a hot chocolate. And don't say cup. You can say a hot chocolate. I would like a hot chocolate. chocolate. Because, because the weather is cold. Because the weather is cold. And you? Would you like some drink? Oh, I'm sorry. Would you like something to drink? Would you like something drink? Something. To drink beer. Say what? ¿Cómo fue? I, I wouldn't like. Oh. I could? Oh, in this case, you can just say, no, thanks. Oh no, I don't. I don't like. In my cake, I don't like. You don't like? Eli, and you? I don't like. He? No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I don't like. Only, only. Never, never. never. Well, that's hardly um, for. That's hard liquor. One, one, una vez al año. <laughs> Once do, a year. Uno al año. <laughs> Once, Once a year. year. One year. What do you light in vodka? <laughs> no, uh, thanks. Uy, nada, toma. Just a little bit, just a little bit. I drink Coca-Cola. I love you, Coca-Cola. <laughs> I love Coca-Cola. I love Coca-Cola. Coca yes, my dear, you were asking for me. Yes, I finished. Okay. Finish. With okay. Um, yes. Let me hear you guys. Hello, Mariela. Would you like to have a cup of coffee with me? Yes, I would like Helen. Would you like to take it with sugar and milk? I would like only sugar, please. I wouldn't like milk. Okay. Would uh, you like to have a cookie with a coffee? Yes, I would like to cook in coffee. That's it. Okay. In this case, Helen, you, you need to say just, yes, I would. Ah, yes, I would. Okay. Or you can say, yes, I love cookies. Simple. Remember, in a regular conversation, we are not going to use will, 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 will for the sentences. Okay, guys, that's perfect. Just practice one more. We still got uh, two minutes. Todavía tenemos one minute. Let's see. And we come back, okay? Okay. I'll be back in a few seconds. Let's see. Let me check the other group. With me? Ah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah. Car Carla, she told me she's an answer. Carla, <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, you see, you just said dancing, and Carla went like, bling, big smile. On her. <laughs> hey, guys, take this. Hurry up. Okay. 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 <laughs> Yo le diría, I'll, I'll, I will, I'll, I will no dance. Oh, you, you, you won. You can say, I don't you dance. I don't uh, dance. You know I it. don't dance. I don't dance. <laughs> oh, come on, Felicita. I love dancing. Hey. <laughs> she done. Uh, she doesn't. She doesn't. She does.
Okay, let's see. Everybody's coming back. Hey, Grecia, you're doing a ponytail. Hi, mister. Uh -huh, I got you. You were doing to yourself a ponytail. 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 Uh, yeah, that's what you were doing with your hair here. Oh, ponytail. Okay. Yeah, that's a ponytail. <laughs> yes, mister. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, guys, before we go to the conversation, believe it or not, it's time for the, again, for the uh, attendance. Just let me check if everybody came back. Yes, everybody's back. Okay, I need to take the attendance again. Pausa Antonio Landa Verde. Present. Carla Marielos Guevara. Present. Mariela de Los Ángeles Alvarado. Present. Carla Diazet Colocho de Parada. Present. Eliane Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Present. Uh, Walter Mauricio Morales. Present. Soy la Noemí Córdoba de Valencia. Carlos Alberto Bautista Bonilla. Present. Yesenia de Lourdes Magaña Sandoval. Present. Jorge Alexander Reyes López. Blanca Margarita Chávez Pérez. Felicita Cruz de Pereira. Present. Grecia Yulisa Pereira de Villegas. And. Giovanni Vladimir Escamilla Gómez. Here. Francisco Felicia. Javier Villatoro Canales. Present. Thank you. Michelle Helen María Chávez Quintanilla. Present. Thanks. Alonso Antonio Turcios. Absent. Andrea Natalie Espinal. Present. Wendy Susana Pérez, no here. And Pedro Antonio Hernández. Present teacher. Present. Okay, thank you very much. Let's see who's gonna be first. Okay, just let me get rid of these. First is going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be Fausto and Company. You start, guys. Okay, teacher. Uh, just let me, let me, let me, that I need to take notes. I'm sorry. Perfect. You're going to start. Hello, Walter. I'm Peter. Hello, Fausto. Good evening. Good evening, Walter. How Hello. are you? I'm fine. Thanks. Oh, okay. Uh, excuse me. Um, I have a question. Um, Okay. Uh, what do you what do you like and uh, to what do you like uh, to play soccer? Oh yes, Fausto. Yes, Fausto. Yes, is my passion. My passion. My oh. passion. And you, Peter? Yes. Uh, I would like play soccer. Um, and I I see uh, I um, I wa I watch the the TV play soccer. Uh, I am not no practice the play soccer. Oh, oh yeah. yeah okay. Why? Oh. First a uh, question. Excuse me. Uh, Good lie. Here, uh, Walter, repeat. Uh, well, do light and drink beer. I would like to drink beer. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> That invitation went to another level. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> okay, listen, listen, listen. Uh, Pedro, you were watching a third game, okay? Uh, sorry, teacher. You were watching 
Usted estaba viendo a Soccer Game. Soccer Game. Soccer Game. Ah, ok. En eh, yeah. Fausto, there's something that I need to make eh, to get clear. You told me right at the beginning, right at the very, very beginning, you made this question. Look, you asked them, will do you like? Would like. In this case, do is not necessary. Okay? Would you like? Would you like? Okay. That's the correct form. Would you like? Okay? Okay, teachers. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Oh, thanks to you guys. Very well done. Excellent. Excellent. Now, let's see. Next, who's ready? Who's ready? Carlos. Carlos, you are next. Okay. Carla and Grecia are my partners. Okay, perfect. Okay, Grecia, please start. Okay, Carlos. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. Good to like dream. Well, I would like to bring a hot chocolate uh, cup. And you, Carla, would you like uh, something drink? I would like to drink soda. Carla, soda is good. It's okay. About I would like to drink iced tea. Oh, it's good. Yes. Okay. Okay, bye. Okay. <laughs> Hey, bye bye. Perfect. Excellent. Well done. Just remember the first question, Grecia. What would you like to drink? Or you can say, Would you like something to drink? Okay. You can use either one. Those are cualquiera. Okay. 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 Thank you. Very well done. Thank you. Well done. Excellent work, guys. Now let's see who's next, who's next. Uh, quiero ver a quien veo que está más triste ahí. Oh, Mariela, you are the one. You're gonna be, you are like, ah, I'm sleepy. So Mariela I'm and Helen, I guess, right? Yes. Yes, Helen, I allergic. Okay, uh, hello Mariela, would you like to have a cup of coffee with me? Yes, I would like, Helen. Uh, would you like to take it with sugar and milk? I would like only sugar, please. I wouldn't like milk. Would you like a? Would you like to have a cookie with the coffee? Yes, I cooking. Okay, perfect. Well done. Excellent. Now let's okay. see. Next, 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 next. Who's next? Let me see. There was. Uh, 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 uh. Felicita, you and your team, please. Oh, is is uh, Francisco um, Carla? Okay, do it. Francisco, would you would you like eat hamburgers? Oh yeah. I would like eat an hamburger. Hamburger. Ah, uh, wow! I just said. Do you? Yep. What? What? Would you like? Go to the mountain for Sunday? Yes, I love it. The mountain. Okay. Yeah, Felicita. Will you like eat uh, Mexican food? Yes, yes, I like Mexican food. And you? Yes. I I would like Mexican food. Excellent. Yeah, I love it. Perfect. Thank you. Well done. 
Excellent. Hello, Blanca. <laughs> Finish. Thank, thank you, thank you, guys. No problem. No problem. No yeah. Problem. Somebody is waiting for more. <laughs> <laughs> what? Who's? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I mute you. I'm sorry. I, I'm finished, I'm finished. <laughs> okay, perfect, perfect. No, that's why I told you, I was just saying hi to Blanca. Uh, I understand you, teacher. Perfect. Now, let's see. You are muting. Nope, I'm not. Teacher, you are mute. Can you hear me now? I don't care, listen to you. All right now. Yeah. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Eliani. Hello. You and your team, please. Okay. Hello, Yesenia. Hope you like to go to the beach. I, uh, I, yes, I would like to the, to go, yes, I would like to the beach. To go to the beach. To go to the beach. And you, Andrea? Yes, I would like to go to the beach to relax. Come on, Andrea. You're like, yeah, Andrea. <laughs> More emotional. Eli You're going to the beach. Okay. Continue, yes, continue, continue. continue. Eliani, will you like eat pizza? Yes, I would like eat pizza. Andrea, Natalie, would you like eat a uh, root beef? Yes, yes, Anya, yes, I would like. Okay, Andrea, Natalie, would you like a uh, beer? Oh no, no, don't like. Okay. Thank you. That's it. And you? Oh. Finish. Now they ask you, Yesenia, do you like? <laughs> I like, uh, I would like a uh, beer. Cool. Well, for oh, the pizza, okay. it's good. Yeah, for the pizza, it's acceptable. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you, Eliani. Thank you, Yesenia. Very well done. Now. Okay. There's something that I need Teacher. to point out. Yes, mister? Um, cuando se da una respuesta y, y luego se hace una pregunta como y tú o y vos qué tal, and ¿es you? correcto decir what and you, you? What about you? Both. Cualquiera de, de las dos. Either one is okay. correct. Okay, now, there's something that I need to, to explain here because I heard it in part of your conversation and I need you to please. Okay, let's see. We're going to do it like this. Okay. Uh, in the last conversation, somebody told, will like it okay in this case remember after would like if we have another verb si tenemos otro verbo después de would like to would like to eat okay and if it's affirmative in general we say i i'm sorry i like Eating. In this case, we say, 
I would like to eat. I would like to dance. Cuando tenemos un verbo después de la expresión would like, we always place to, to eat, to dance, to come, to study, to drink, okay? In this case, it's different because we are talking about general preferences, okay? I like eating. Después del verbo like, in affirmative, in simple present, we can place a verb. Podemos poner un verbo in ing form, in la forma ing. Or you can say, I like to eat. The second and the third sentence mean exactly the same. Uh, look, I like eating chicken. I like to eat chicken. Both sentences mean exactly the same. Ambas oraciones transmiten la misma idea. But when we have will like, we always use to if we have a verb after it. Siempre usamos el to si tenemos un verbo después. Any question? No? Okay, perfect. Blanca, hello Blanca. You haven't participated. Good evening. Good evening, Blanca. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Oh, that's nice. You know what? Uh, we are planning a dinner right now. The whole group. Would you like to, to go out with us for dinner? I would like have... I would like to go to um, hotels, for example. Where? I would like to go to the hotel. For dinner? For dinner. Okay, which, which, which restaurant is good for you? Which cuisine? Um, I would like to go to the Cebollinas. Oh, that's nice, that's nice. Okay. And tell me, what would you like to eat there? What would you prefer, chicken or meat? I would like to eat chicken. Okay. And what would you like to drink with your chicken? I would like to drink a soda. With chicken? Come on. I don't like the beer. Oh, no, no, but with chicken, with a dish of chicken, perhaps. A juice? No. Well, yeah, soda is acceptable. It's acceptable. We are, we are going to let you go with this one. Thank you very much, Blanca. Okay, thanks. So you see, this is very simple. When we use, we'll like, we'll like to. Okay, guys, let's see. Hello, Jorge. Good evening. Fine. Okay. I'm fine. <laughs> That's nice. Jorge Alexander Reyes, say present, please. Present. Thank you. And Blanca Margarita Ch Chavez Perez. Present. Thank you very much. Cool. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, guys. Now let me share with you. We are going to work with the manual today. Vamos de nuevo al manual. Okay. We are going to be working in, let me see, page for today. We got page 43 and 44. And let's see this. Let me get rid of this. Perfect. And let me make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Would like to. We use would like to to say what you want. Patient making offers and requests. She would like to send the reports, the reports today. This is in singular. He would like to meet the new employees tonight. Okay, just let me see something. Oh, Miss Colocho's got problems with internet. In plural, they would like to speak to a supervisor. We'd like to ship this container tomorrow. Now, look at something. When we use would like to, we got the main verb, 
we have the main verb and you see it doesn't matter if it's third person we don't have the s here because we have two when we have two and then a verb we don't have that problem okay so she would like to send the reports today the new employees tonight they would like to speak to a supervisor we would like to ship this container tomorrow okay now imagine a piece of equipment at your workplace is broken okay right from four to five requests about it okay in this exercise what you have to do is imagine a piece of equipment at your workplace is broken right from five four to five requests about it but that exercise we are not going to do it here you're going to do it in the platform it's going to appear as a post for today's class ese ejercicio no se va a hacer acá lo vamos a hacer en la plataforma va a aparecer como un post okay de la clase de ahora as soon as the class finishes i'm going to post it there tan pronto termina la clase lo voy a poner ahí and that's your homework okay vamos a hacer la tarea de eso. now but we are going to do the next activity from the manual we are going to go to the manual to page number 44 Vamos al manual to page 44. Okay, we have a text here. We are going to read about trainer qualities and answer some questions. First, let me read out loud for you guys. Permítanme leer en voz alta para ustedes. Okay. Color. Oh, by the way, can you see the image clearly? Pueden ver la imagen? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. Perfect. If not, I'm going to send the, the 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 picture. Just let me take the picture so everybody can have it. Remember, it's from the manual. We are in the manual in page number 44. Okay? So, color. Color is important for users who need to print pages for presentations or maps and other pages where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two ink cartridges, one color and one black ink, that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Users who don't have a, a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Resolution. Printer resolution, the sharpness of text and images on paper is usually measured in dots per inch. That's DPI. Most inexpensive printers provide sufficient resolution for most purposes at 600 DPI. P. If you do much printing, this speed of the printer becomes important. Hey, thank you, Mariela. You sent the whole thing. Perfect. I'm sorry. Uh, I was in a speed. If you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. Inexpensive printers print only about three to six sheets per minute. Color printing is low. More expensive printers are much faster. Memory. Most printers come with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte that can be expanded by the user. Having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster when printing out pages with large images or tables with lines around them, which the printer treats as a large image. Let me read again for you. 
color. Color is important for users who need to print pages for presentations or maps and other pages where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two ink carriages, one color and one black ink, that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will find black and white printer cheaper to operate. Resolution. Printer resolution, the sharpness of text and images on paper, is usually measured in dots per inch, DPI. Most inexpensive printers provide sufficient resolution for most purposes at 600 DPI. Speed. If you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. Inexpensive printers print only about three to six sheets per minute. Color printing is slower. More expensive printers are much faster. Memory. Most printers come with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte that can be expanded by the user. Having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster when printing out pages with large images or tables with lines around them, which the printer treats as a large image. Okay, guys. Let's see. In the section color, do you have any question about vocabulary? No questions about vocabulary? Okay, perfect. Cart Cartridge. Cartridge. Cartuchos. Okay. We're talking you. about ink, ink cartridge. Okay, perfect. Now let's see, let's see. Resolution. Dots per inch. Dots per inch. Dots per inch. Por pulgada. That's DPI. Okay. Uh, okay. What about speed? In this case, look at this word chips. Chips. Chips can be used for two different things. Okay. Chips are like uh, when we talk about chips. We are talking about savannas. Okay. Hello, Noemi. Good evening. Good evening. When we talk about sheets, we use it for two different things. One is for savannas and one is for pages. La otra es para páginas. Okay. So, you use the word sheets for pages or for savannas. Now, uh, let's see. What are you going to do? You have two activities. You're going to be working in groups, and the first activity is to solve the questions. En grupos me van a hacer dos actividades. La primera es to solve this question. We, why is color important for some users? What does the PI stand for? Why are color printers more expensive? What is something important for someone who prints a lot? What is the amount of memory that most printers come with? Okay? Look at this. Why is color important for some user? What does DPI stand for? Why are color printers more expensive? What is something important for someone who prints a lot? And what is the amount of memory that most printers come with? That's the first part of your activity that you're going to be doing working in pairs for answering these questions you will have three minutes para contestar esta pregunta van a tener un máximo de tres minutos working in pairs okay we are going to do it fast because then we come back here and then we are going to jump to a second activity okay vamos a hacer rápido porque venimos acá lo resolvemos y luego nos vamos a otra actividad okay let's see just let me recreate the rooms Okay, guys, please jump in.
color para algunos usuarios. Yeah, why, do you, why do you like printing in colors? Or why do you need to print in colors? In my case, because it's obligation, all letters in full colors. Okay. Oh, really? Yes. Mm, that's interesting. Uh, that's something that you can answer there. Okay. All letters are in full color. But you can have to be specific. In my company. In my company. In my company. All letters are in full color. Okay. In this case, have to be. Because it's obligation, no? Have to be, yes. Okay, have to be. All letters have to be in full color. We need. No, W. All the printers are not effective. We need to print uh, for presentation or maps and other page where color is part of the optimal information. Aunque si seguimos, because need to print to print page pages because pages teacher yes miss because no need. the question is the w h question so yes. the answer is because need to print page that's good because we need which question mm -hmm. are we referring to ¿Cuál de las preguntas? Mm -hmm. the first number one why is color important for some users because need to print page porque necesitan imprimir página what presentation no la estábamos a Pictures, pictures, perhaps. Como, <coughs> como? Because they need to print pictures, perhaps. Podría ser. Ah, because they need, they need to print. Oh, because you mean because in the text says because they need to print pages for presentations. Or maps. Okay. Because yes. they need to print pages for presentations or maps. Okay. You have okay. to be more specific. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank Thanks. Thanks. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Because up. they need to print page for presentation or maps. Pages. Yeah. Pages. 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 That's per inch. That's per inch. Why are color printer more expensive? Why are color printer more expensive? ¿Cuál um, es el color de impresora más caro? Uh, why, mm -hmm. are, why are color printers more expensive? Why are black and um, white? Because they use two ink cartridges. Porque usan dos cartuchos de tinta. Ah, porque los colores de impresora son más caros. Yeah, because you need you need more ink to operate them. Necesitan más cartuchos, más tinta. That's why they are more expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, that's it, you see. Yes, okay. 
Marquez. <laughs> what does DPI stand for? Oh, DPI. that's per inch. That's per, per inch. Uy, no encuentro la respuesta de eso. DPI. Okay, DPI appears in resolution. In resolution. Ah, ah la okay. resolution. Printed yes. resolution. These samples of text and images are in paper. The sharpness. Eh, la nitidez. Okay. Is yes. usual me measure in, se mide usualmente in dots per inch DPI so DPI stands for DPI quiere decir dots per inch en That's español teacher. as it says there we are talking about the resolution como dice ahí estamos hablando de la resolución and we are talking about the sharpness of the image estamos hablando de la nitidez de la imagen the sharpness of the image. So, Pero esto es DPI, es, teacher, es, color, es resolución. Color. Okay. And the resolution is measured in DPI. Y la resolución se mide en DPI. Es la medida en la cual se, se califica la resolución. And it means that per inches. Y quiere decir puntos por pulgada. Okay. So, imagine that if you have a, a printer that prints in 600 DPI, that in an impressor to imprint in 600 DPI, and you have another one who prints in 1000 DPI, it in otro que imprime en 1000 DPI, que es el que imprime en 1000, la imagen será mejor, right? Mm -hmm. Yes? Es what we in, es lo que nosotros en los teléfonos o computadoras hablamos en píxeles. Uh, okay. Sería píxeles. Right? Píxeles. ¿Y cómo mm. se dice píxeles en inglés? Píxeles. No, sí. No. Actually, the word is in English. La palabra es en inglés. Píxeles. Píxeles. It's not in Spanish. La palabra no es en español, es en inglés. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You, Usually. Hello, guys. Teacher. How are you doing? Hi, teacher. 600 uh... DPI. 600 DPI is very low nowadays. 600 DPI hoy en día es bajo. Es muy bajo, sí. Yeah. Nowadays, we have more. Yeah. Yeah. Eh, en esta pregunta. Okay, what is something, oh, what does DPI stand for? That's per inch, yes. Printer resolution. Yes, that's the printer resolution. Why are color printers more expensive? With more expensive printers, we can print faster. Okay. Color printers were more expensive than black and white printers because they use color ink. Oh, porque ellos usan... ¿Cómo se llama? Tinta de colores. Yeah, they use more ink. Okay. Uh, because they use uh, coloring. Y adiós con el resto. Yeah, make it simple. One minute. ¿Cuál es la cantidad de memoria con la que viene la mayoría de la impresora? Uh -huh. Ahí como que habla de algo específico, de un solo. Okay, it, it, says, it says the quantity of megabytes. Ahí dice cuántos megabytes. Ah, one mega, megabytes. Well, one actually, mega. actually, that was before. Eso era hace un par de años. Now they come with more. Yeah. Oh. 
Hoy en día vienen con más. Sí. Oh, o sea, Entonces pues... la, la cuatro es... Wow, everybody's here back pretty fast. Now let's see, let's see. I'm going to choose some of you to help me out uh, answering the question. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Perfect. Okay. Questions here. Why is color important for some users? Let's see. Carlos, tell me, why is color important for some users? Uh, in my case, uh, in the company, all letters have to be in full color for present to institution of government. Okay, for government institutions. For government institution. Okay, let's see. What does DPI stand for? Felicita? Color is important. DPI, question number two. Pregunta número dos, Felicita. What does DPI stand for? ¿Qué quiere decir DPI? DPI, what does DPI la, la respuesta de la two es most inexpensive printer. Okay, look. The answer is this. Look, Felicita, to the screen. DPI means dots per inch. Okay. Dots per inch. Okay. Dots per inch. Okay, thank you. Number three, why are color printers more expensive? Um, Blanca? Um, because they use two ink cartridge. Okay, because they use more, more ink, actually. They use color ink. That's more expensive. Now, let's Big. see. Thank you, thank you, Blanca. I'm sorry. Now, number four, what is something important for someone who prints a lot? Eliana? What is something important for someone who prints a lot? Question number four. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see. In this case, I think we are having problems with connection. What is something important for someone who prints a lot? The answer is speed. Speed is important. If you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. You see? If you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. Question number five. What is the amount of memory that most printers come with? Francisco. Can you hear me? One but can be... One megabyte. Tell me, One megabyte. Well, nowadays, I think they come with more memory, right? Sorry? Está lejos. Nowadays, they come with more memory, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hoy en día vienen con mucha más memory. Now, guys, listen up. The activity, the final activity of today. No se escucha. Can you the rest hear me? ¿Me oyen? No, no le escucha. Muy suave. Muy suave. I think it's a problem. Little, little. I think it's a problem of because I have the microphone at 30 centimeters from my face. Creo que es un problema de señal porque tengo el micrófono a 30 centimetros. 
and this is the the the, the... that's the most the best microphone i got right now that's okay teacher. It's, it's okay okay perfect now let's see the final activity it's very simple very very simple okay i'm going to divide you in three groups okay you're going to be working in three groups just three groups okay now the first group is going to be called TV. In that group is going Blanca, Carla Marielos, Noemi de Valencia, Pedro Antonio, and Yesenia. You will have four minutes to describe me the characteristics of a good TV. Okay? Now, what happened here? Okay, group number two. Group number two is going to be called computer. The group number two is Andrea Natalie, Francisco Javier, Grecia Yulisa, Helen Maria, and Mariela de Los Angeles. You are going to describe me the characteristics that we need to have in a good computer. Okay? And the third group is going to be, we got TV, computer, and the third group is going to talk to me about cell phone. Okay, what are the main characteristics that we look for in a cell phone? In that, in this group goes Carlos, Fausto, Felicita, Jorge, and Walter. Okay, so four minutes. It's nine forty-nine. Okay, four minutes. Hurry up. We need to. You need to explain this to me before we finish the class. Me van a dar la explicación antes de terminar la clase. Eliani, usted no me parece sin nada. Es que me estaba fallando la conexión del internet y me sacó de la plataforma. Ok. Ok, we got TV, computer, cell phone. ¿Con quién va a trabajar? Choose. Con cualquiera. <laughs> ok, you got two cell phones. Ok, thank you. Tele, TV intelligence. A smart TV. Smart TV. Oh, a good TV have. have. Okay, intelligence is smart. Okay, significa smart. Yes. Smart intelligent. Yes, ah, right. Smart TV full resolution. Good resolution. Uh -huh. Que sea grande, que sea TV big. The size. <laughs> The other way, Yesenia, a big TV. A big, a big TV. Big TV. Vaya, ven que la idea era esa, a big. Okay. Make Carla talk. Carla's been quiet big. today. Hagan que Carla hable. Hoy ha estado bien calladita. I need her speaking. Ah. Hola, Carla. Hi, Carla. Hi. How are you? Así soy de callada. Ajá, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Recomendable. Computer, eight gig, eight gigs minimum. Wow. For AutoCAD. Yes, for AutoCAD. Oh. Por diseño, para diseño asistido por computadora, eh, 16 como mínimo. Yeah, for designing, wow. Yeah, si es para diseño web, eh, 8 gigabytes. Si es para trabajo de oficina, 4 gigabytes. Normal, ¿no? Usar el... Um, I7, R, I8, R9. What? For what? The processor? Oh, um, huh? Si es para. Ah, va. 
si es para, um, si la, la máquina la va a usar para, para diseño en arquitectura AutoCAD, digamos, eh, lo recomendable es un procesador de séptima generación, o i7, digamos, i5, i7 como mínimo, entre la octava y la, nove, y la décima generación. Oh, those things fly. <laughs> Y, uh, <ríe> yeah. y el disco duro tiene que haber entre un terabyte como mínimo. Ok. Wow, one tera. That's a lot. Well, yeah, those things are heavy. <ríe> y es para diseño gráfico. Okay, y necesita but... mucho almacenamiento, pero si requiere velocidad, digamos. Ah, una de, um, el disco no tiene que ser rígido, sino que tiene que ser un estado sólido. O sea, se accesa en segundo realmente. Pero digamos, eh, características básicas, así. Ok, cool. Just the basic, just the basics. I'll be back. También lo ancho del teléfono. No, no sé cómo decirlo. Size. A good, screen. Has a good size. The screen uh, size, screen uh, size, screen size. 60 seconds, hurry up. Ahorita, uh, yeah, good, uh, good, the strong range, strong range, storage, storage, memory. Resolution pixel, puede ser la, la carga. I think the system kicked you out. Creo que el sistema me los mandó para acá, ¿verdad? Because some of you still have 60 seconds. Well, no problem. We are going to do it here. Let's see. Let's see so I can remember the groups. Okay, let's see. In the first group, there was Blanca, Carla Marielos, Noemi, Pedro, and Yesenia. Noemi, please tell me, what are the characteristics that your group said are good for a... For a good TV, I want to buy a good TV. Give me please the information. What should I look for? ¿Qué debo buscar? Uh, a good TV have, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Debería tener. Should have. Should have. Smart. Uh, should oh, have. Should be. Should be. Debería ser. Should be. Okay. To be, be a smart TV. Smart TV. Okay. To have to be to be big. Okay. Big. Mm. Okay. How big? Thirty inches, forty inches, sixty-five inches. Fifty-five inch. Okay. What else? What else? Give me more information. Yeah. Should be should have good resolution. Okay. Are we talking about HD or Ultra HD? Ultra HD. Ultra HD. HD. Okay. HD. HD stands for high definition. Okay. High definition. When say, yes, when we say HD, we are talking HD. about high definition. If we say ultra HD, we are talking about bigger definition. Okay? Estamos hablando de mayor definición. Okay, is there any other aspect I should take into an account, Noemi? A connective and um, USB. Okay, USB connect, USB port. USB. ¿Cuántos USB? Port. Ah, port USB. Ah, 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 the other way USB around. USB port, USB port. Perfect, <laughs> perfect. Thank you. Uh, ports. That's enough, that's enough. Thank you very much. Thanks. Now let's see, next group, computers. About computers going to tell me, let's see, let's see. 
There's Mariela de Los Ángeles, Helen, Grecia, Francisco, and Natalie. Natalie, tell me about computer, okay? I want a computer, tell me. What will be good? Okay. Uh, you have RAM a GB. Okay. A gigabyte, gigabyte, gigabyte. A gigabyte. Okay. Or uh, yes, Natalie. Okay. ID ID, perdón ID What are you talking about? Okay, let's see In this group there was Francisco Francisco, do you, you, do you have the notes? You can share the hard notes disk. Hard disk Oh, the it's hard the disk Oh, thank yes, you, thank you, Andrea. Thank you, my bad, perdón. Another aspect, Andrea? Oh, que sigue Francisco, teacher. Okay, okay. Francisco, can you help her? ¿Le puede ayudar? Okay, um, for HD, um, 256, if this is solid state and if, um, is this? Yeah, sorry. Two fifty-six. Two fifty. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Two fifty-six. And if uh, HD is for uh, one terabyte, and okay. processor for um, i seven. Uh, okay. And generation. Um, the screen. 17 inch. 17 inches? Yeah, inches and ports, three ports USB, two three wire USB ports. ports. USB ports. Three USB ports, okay. okay. Um, two wired ports. Okay. And HDMI uh, port? Uh, excuse me? HDMI port? Not yeah, it's the MI port. Uh, one, it's the MI port. Okay. Hmm. I know and... there's another type of ports, but they are not that common. Sé que hay otro puerto, pero no es muy común. It's for images. Wire. Yes. Wire. Hay otro tipo de puerto. Ayer estaba hablando de él. Ah. I'll try to remember. Eh, los, los HDMI, los USB, los puertos wire, uh, y los puertos para video también, video. Yeah, there's one that is better than HDMI. I don't know how to HDMI, but I don't remember right now. Uh, it's mm -hmm. HDMI, super HDMI. Yeah, fiber. Oh, thank you very Optic. much. Optic okay. fiber. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yes. Fiber audio Optic fiber. is for. It's better. It's a media. Yeah, that's media. Media. Yeah. yeah. It's media. Yeah. Yeah, that's media. Yeah, it's. Uh, what we have is uh, optical connection in some from some TVs for the audio. Yeah, we have, yes. a, but that's different. That's optical connection from the from the TV to to a, perhaps a sound system for audio. That's different. I'm sorry. We need to go to the last one. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> Cell phone. We got Carlos, Eliani, Fausto, Felicita, Walter. Let's see who's going to talk here. Carlos, you explain to me, please, cell phone. Hurry up. Your classmates want to go to sleep. Okay. A good, a good cell phone uh, have be a good camera. Okay. Good access camera. to internet. Okay. A good resolution in his screen. Good memory RAM. Has a battery several hours uh, of function. Has okay. a good spring size, uh, etc. Okay. The only thing that we need to be clear is in its 
with screen. No fixed screen because it's an object. Cooler resolution it's it's screen. Yes, because we were talking about gadgets. 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 That word refers to everything that is like electronics. Gadgets. A cell phone. A radio. Those are gadgets. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Nice practice. See you tomorrow. Go to rest. Thank you. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you. Tomorrow. Bye. See you.